With the slogan, Let's Change the Future of Cars, Toyota Motor Corporation recently organized a technical briefing session called Toyota Technical Workshop and unveiled a number of new technologies that would help its transformation into a company dedicated to mobility. The path of future auto manufacturing and Toyota's technological plan were discussed by Hiroki Nakajima, Executive Vice President and Chief Technological Officer. He also discussed a number of distinct technologies, including ideas that are still in the works, that will aid in realizing the goals and guidelines that have already been expressed. Both Mitsumasa Yamagata, who will be named president of the hydrogen factory when it opens in July, and Takeru Kato, who has been named president of the recently founded BEV factory, also spoke. They went into further detail about their own business plans for battery electric vehicles and hydrogen. At the policy briefing in April, the Toyota Mobility concept was explained. The three strategies of electrification, intelligence, and diversification are those that contain the key to its implementation. We will keep pursuing a multi-path approach in the electrification domain, introducing the best powertrains for every location. We will support projects to strengthen our ties to society, like Woven City, in the field of intelligence in addition to supporting vehicles and services. We'll also keep broadening the scope of our business to include everyone's access to freedom of movement and a variety of energy sources by moving from the cars to the society category. The goal of BEV Factory, a battery EV group that was established in May, is to change the future with BEVs through changes in transportation, production, and workplace practices. According to Toyota, they will attain a 1,000 km (600 miles) vehicle cruising range on the vehicle axis by integrating technologies like next-generation batteries and acoustic technology. Designers will concentrate on expressing natural sensibility while using AI to support aerodynamic performance, which will result in more stylish design. Infinitely more ways to enjoy cars will be possible with the RNAOS and complete OTA. Toyota will focus on providing their clients with thrilling surprises and excitement using cutting-edge technology that is only possible for a car manufacturer, just like the manual EV. The car body will be built on the production line using a revolutionary modular design and three primary parts. Adopting megacasting will enable significant component integration, which helps to save manufacturing investment and vehicle development costs. Self-propelling production technology will also cut the investment in processes and plants in half. BEV Factory is an all-in-one team, with a single leader that unites areas and operations outside of the bounds of a manufacturer, such as woven by Toyota and outside partners. In order to achieve speedy decision-making and initial response, this one team will revolutionize the way work is done by bringing everyone to the same location and providing everyone with the same level of awareness of the problems. According to Toyota, a comprehensive portfolio of the next-generation BEVs will debut in 2026 and will be released globally. BEV Factory will supply 1.7 million of the 3.5 million units needed by 2030. New batteries will be used in the battery EVs of the future, and Toyota is committed to setting the global standard for battery EV energy use. The battery powers the battery-powered EV or BEV. The battery sends power to the car, just as the heart pumps blood throughout the body. Toyota is developing batteries with new technologies to match customer expectations as it works to introduce the next generation of BEVs in 2026. By increasing the energy density of square batteries, a field in which Toyota has extensive experience, liquid lithium-ion batteries, which are presently the norm, would function better. Toyota will also broaden their product line to give customers a variety of choices from affordable, well-liked batteries to batteries that strive for even higher performance by adopting the bipolar structure created for HEVs to BEVs. Aside from that, all solid-state batteries, which were predicted as cutting-edge batteries, are now finally entering the phase of being used in BEVs. Toyota's complete lineup of competitive batteries will promote the advancement of its BEVs in the future. Next Generation Batteries, Performance Version with a cruising range of 1,000 km, the next generation BEV will be unveiled in 2026. With an emphasis on performance, Toyota is creating a square battery for use in such vehicles. Toyota wants to extend the cruising range while also reducing costs by 20% compared to the current BZ4X and achieving a quick charge time of 20 minutes or less. This is done by increasing the energy density of the battery and improving vehicle efficiencies, such as aerodynamics and weight reduction. Next Generation Batteries, Popularization Version 
In order to give customers a wide range of battery options, Toyota is also working on producing high-quality, affordable batteries that will aid in the growth and dissemination of BEVs. BEVs are currently using the bipolar structure battery, which was previously utilized in the Aqua and Crown hybrid vehicles. The battery, which is planned to be used in practical applications in 2026 to 2027, is made of cheap lithium-ion phosphate (LFP). In comparison to the present BZ4X, Toyota wants to achieve a 20% improvement in cruising range, a 40% cost reduction, and quick recharging in 30 minutes or less. As a result, it is considering including it in BEVs in the common price range. Bipolar Lithium-Ion Battery – High Performance Version A high-performance battery that combines a bipolar structure with a high nickel cathode to accomplish additional advancements will be put to use in 2027-2028 in parallel with the development of the popularization version of the battery. With a 10% improvement in cruising range, a 10% cost decrease, and a quick charge time of 20 minutes or less, it will deliver even better performance than the performance version of the square battery. All solid-state batteries for BEVs. The company is reconsidering its introduction to traditional HEVs and boosting development as a battery for BEVs, for which expectations are rising, after realizing a technological breakthrough that solves the long-standing problem of battery durability. With a goal of commercialization in 2027-2028, Toyota is now working on a technology for mass production. While prices are being closely examined, Toyota is aiming for a quick charge time of 10 minutes or less, with a 20% increase in cruising range compared to the performance version of the square battery. A higher level specification is also being researched and developed at the same time with the future in mind. Compared to the square battery, this one seeks a 50% increase in cruising range. Toyota is researching the usage of hypersonic technology, which is used in rockets, in BEVs, and they're working with Mitsubishi Heavy Industries on a brand new method of lowering aerodynamic drag in any shape. Toyota will continue to develop its battery technology, but will also take on the task of extending the cruising range even further by reducing aerodynamic drag. Toyota intends to use the discoveries as foundational technologies into the next generation BEVs. It is anticipated that it will combine an appealing design, packaging with aerodynamic performance by being able to lower aerodynamic drag without being constrained by the geometry of the car. By utilizing the understanding of boundary layer management in the ultra-high-speed range derived from aerospace technology, new technologies are currently being developed in a variety of speed ranges. Toyota will make improvements to both car technology and manufacturing in order to make BEVs profitable. First, a giant casting process will be used to create a simple, slim vehicle body with a focus on considerable part integration. By adopting ideas like a self-propelling assembly line, Toyota will also develop extremely adaptable production facilities without conveyors. To improve the precision of process verification, we will use digital technologies when developing the BEV production facility. Through these initiatives, Toyota hopes to cut the plant investment, production procedures, and lead time for mass-produced car production in half and achieve a sizable decrease in fixed costs. What is Giga Casting? With the use of this method, a car manufacturer can integrate molding with high productivity to produce parts in the ideal shape. Toyota is also working on technology that will replace the numerous sheet metal pieces that were previously utilized in manufacturing with integrated molding and aluminum die casting. Toyota reviewed the structural design to make it simpler and smaller after carefully examining the casting technology that has been developed in the automobile production industry. It embodies the TPS idea of removing waste from every process while also lowering the number of parts and procedures. And sir, what do you think of Toyota's EV plans? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. If you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.